Welcome back everybody to some Doki Doki Literature Club, more like Doki Doki what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Apparently Yuri has a knife collection, and I just sliced my finger on it. Ah, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, that morning Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wood. Whoa! Yo! Girl! What are you doing? I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, sure it was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Mm. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in <laughs> What are you doing?! <laughs> we'll just- we'll just lick each other all down! Come on over! We're just gonna lick each other all afternoon. Gamer! Did you really just do that? Apparently. Now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Ah, I knew that would be a bad idea. Not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, gamer. She giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I know I fucked up then. I have no response for that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, I don't think I need one actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension's quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I'll continue to make progress on the paper. On the paper? The paper, apparently. Apparently, after we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. I can't speak! That's just the moral of the story. I have no mastery over the English language. Looks great. Good thinking you Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. I need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just be a, li a little bit of water is okay. If you feel the cup's too much, it'll be too diluted. Oh, fair enough. All right. I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or something? Ah... No, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismissed. What did you see? What did you go snooping in? Did you find my porn? God damn it, not my porn. I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gar gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, huh, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Okay, if you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry if it feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. 
Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. You know, even I can. I enjoy a little peace and quiet sometimes. Just like, you know, comfortable silence. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Oh, bonk. Kia! Sorry. Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's all totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. Oh! Hello! Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Wow, there's a... There's an image for you. Holy crap. Ah. Ooh. Thumbnails. All the thumbnails. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I just didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. Okay. Sure. Why not? Uh. <laughs> I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through silent, slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Oh, boy. They're gonna do it. Oh, oh, she pulled away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. Huh. The moment is over as soon as it began. God damn it. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. <laughs> it never happened. Just forget it happened. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you gonna add the lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it'd be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew! <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Oh no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the most important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. I, we got all the work done. It's, it's, good, it's good progress. Let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can go out somewhere. I, I forgot, you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're a very thoughtful, gamer. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, 
How am I supposed to respond to that? I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Says Yuri? Huh? Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh shit! Um. Hi. How you doing, Sayori? Just now, we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, gamer. I just stopped by to say hi. Um. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? It's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori... I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, <laughs> well... I tried staying in my room. But my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come over here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. As you say, with tears in your eyes. I have no reason to believe this. It's all that matters to me. Uh-huh. Sure. It's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, gamer? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, gamer. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Wait, what? What did she say? What was she right about? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. Oh my god, dude, you are making, you are making some of the most serious promises that you will never be able to keep. This is not going to end well for you, my dude. She looks, she looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, gamer. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Gamer. I like you so much that I want to die. Oh, lovely. Thanks. I, I love hearing something like that. Said to me. That's how I feel. And... And... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand on her arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. What? What are we doing? <laughs> oh. I'm dying! <laughs> oh. I'm dying! I'm slowly losing my mind. Are you kidding me, game? Nope! Nope! Uh -uh. I know how this ends if I say this! But I feel like I have no choice! You will always be my dearest friend, Sayori. I am- Oh god, I'm committed. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, you'll always be my dearest friend. The need most is for things to be like they've always been. That is true, actually. That is fair. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll get he I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about, th about this. Sayori, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down this path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. 
in the other thing. You're also right that I just wanted to go back the other w to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, gamer. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So. Oh. She drops to her knees. Oh, she's, she's crying. She's crying. She's, she's screaming. She's screaming. I'm so shocked I don't know how to react. Nope, oh, and she's gone. All right, cool. <laughs> what the hell? God damn it, game. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? I feel like more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. <laughs> oh boy. The day of the festival. Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going into her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The manner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over, so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Gamer, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that she has all the poems were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think on days like this important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Ha <laughs> you ha not You should take a little responsibility for her, gamer. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? What? What do you mean? You know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. Wait, what does that have to do with anything? That was in the street! That was in front of my house! What, are you stalking me? Are you spying on me? Did Sayori tell you? But, I stammer embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me seem really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? She's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Yeah, you and me both. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. Oh, they really did. Something like this will definitely help the people to uh, take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. Uh-huh. Uh, professional feel. Nice. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. Oh. Uh. Oh. I. Um. Before I listen to everything she said to me, I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Um. Game? Did I? Did I fuck up? Ah. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem... I get a pit in my stomach. Gamer? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so 
Ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? Okay. Sure. Don't strain yourself. I'm scared. I'm scared. There's no sound. There's no music. It's just me and my own thoughts. Should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. Not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. It's all she needs and what I want to give her. Right? Hello? Anybody? Anybody home? Sayori? Really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more so like something a boyfriend would do? Oh god, is she dead? Am I dead? Sayori? Wake up, dummy! There's no response. Oh no. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. It's a breach of privacy. But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. <laughs> oh shit! Oh! What? I an exception has occurred. File game script chapter five dot rpy line three oh seven. See traceback dot text for details. What? I. Oh. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? Should I should I have gone to that file immediately? I don't even. Oh god, this is a, this is a horrific screen to leave the thing on. But oh my god, wait no. I I have the I have the file thing open. Currently, um, um. Okay, wait. Hold, hold on, hold, uh, hold on. Oh my God, where am I? Where am I going? Doki Doki, Doki Doki Literature Club, right? Uh, ha happy thoughts. A a PNG file? Wait a minute, hold on. Desktop, come here. Hi, you can see my desktop. Oh my God, you can still hear the music in the background. Um, RPY? That was a. Uh, Happy thoughts, that wasn't there before. What the hell is this? What? I... What is this? I don't even... I don't even know. Is what I'm looking for in here? It was an RPY file. I don't even know how to open those. What do I use to open those? Log? No. Somebody, somebody told me I should be looking at, like, my log and stuff. Game. Scripts, images, fonts, first run? No. Python packages? No. I don't even know what Py Python packages are. Uh, okay, that's, that's not what I'm looking for. Contents? No. What am I, what am I looking for? Oh! Um, did Sayori's name disappear? I could have sworn that was in that folder before. Am I just being stupid? Oh wait, no, that's that's what I'm looking for. Isn't it? An uncaught... Let it... Restart. Oh jeez, I didn't break anything. Hold on a second, I could probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one making this so difficult. Ah ha ha ha. Well, here goes nothing. What?! You... Did you... You deleted Sayori? Oh my god, my head hurts. My... My head hurts. Just... Just... Everything. Everything. Everything hurts. Oh my god. Sorry for the, the black stutter. It's the only way I get this to work. Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. 
I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. How did you hear her scream? Oh, from outside, right? Not, not, not her hanging herself. This is my fault. My soaring thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship. But, we, but that's, that's like blackmail. I, I cannot, oh my God. I cannot believe that would have helped. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. <gasps> what? I... Oh! Starting a new game. What? What did I just do? The girl is my neighbor. Got a friend you see yourself making today? Used to walk together. Okay. I just sigh and let it catch up to me. Whoa! What the hell is happening? Uh, I've always walked to school alone. Did that really just say? I did. I did. I did. What? I lost all my things. We? Huh? I. Uh huh. I can't skip. How the hell do I join the club now? Uh, yeah. Isn't anything that interests me? Gamer? Whoa! I. M Monica? I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it has. She smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Uh-huh. What did you come in here for, anyway? Construction paper or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ah, uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Oh, you started your... Your... Your literature club? Huh? Is that it? The club did you decide to join? I'm starting a new one! A literature club! Oh my god, I feel like my computer's breaking. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. There's only three of us. Three, huh? I can see that. It's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything regarding reading, writing, poetry. One of the members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. I bet that's Natsuki, now that I think about it. It's not wrong, I guess. Remember's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, gamer. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at least visit the club, I would make me really happy. Please? Um. Okay. Sure. I'm sure nothing horrible will happen. Not at all. I'm really sweet, apparently. Okay, sure. Uh, I sold my soul. I feel like I did sell my soul. What is happening? <gasps> wait, 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 what the fuck was that? Way to kill the atmosphere. All words escape me in this situation. It's full of... <laughs> God damn it, man! Monica's boyfriend. What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. Go with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki. It's one I don't recognize. Oh, really? You don't, huh? 
And Yuri is the vice president now? Uh-huh. Yeah. Lovely. I don't know what the hell is What's the agent's sorry with you? I don't know. What's happening? What's going on? I'm so... I'm so... I'm so confused. Sit down? Sure. Let's sit down. Why not? Let's sit across from each other. I'll feel awkward. Feel right at home, huh? How many very people? Not very many people are interested. Uh huh. Well, I guess. Reluctantly agrees. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. I guess so. Yeah, I'm glad. Oh my god. Okay, this is no. I'm getting I'm getting so so scared. I'm getting I'm getting really weirded out. Natsuki's head Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. She wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Oh yeah, that's right. It is definitely her manga collection. Deep and complex fantasy worlds. Telling a good story is such a foreign world is equally impressive. Uh-huh. Why, I, this is all the same, isn't it? We've... Horror. I... This is so... I don't even... I'm, I'm skipping through this shit. We've heard this shit before. Give that back. Your poem. I don't even... What are we doing about Sayori? How do we get her back? This is just wrong! This is just wrong! On so many levels! We're writing poems again. You're just taking responsibility of vice president, huh? I'm gonna do my best to nurture the club. And we have a new member. Uh, oh dear. There's one problem. I did not decide to become a member! Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any of my decision. <laughs> they all just shrunk. Uh, the truth? What? We don't have enough members to form an official club. Oh. Right, we need four. Oh dear, and Sayori isn't around this time. I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Right, alright, I'll join. We'll make this a club. This just seems like an awful idea. What happens if somebody else just disappears? What do we do then? There won't be a club! Uh, thanks, I guess. Uh, write a poem. Okay, sure. I'll see you later. They continue to chit-chat. I will be on my way. I will be on my way. And just... Just ready to drown myself in my bathtub. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Oh... My god. Good fortune, huh? You have unlocked a special poem. Would I like to read it? I guess so. <gasps> what is this? Hello? Who are you? The... What? This isn't... This isn't a poem. That's the... It's not a poem. Oh shit! And she's gone. Oh. It just... Just vanish. Okay. Um... Let's uh... Save her quick. And uh... But that's that's all for this this episode of a uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. I I don't know how to feel. I I guess we'll continue on and see what else we could. I'm um, fine. This is the Musical Gamer signing signing off. I'll see you guys in the next uh in the next video. Catch you guys then. <laughs>